Good morning. It's ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 29th of September. And when it's Wednesday, it means it's time for comic days. It's the last new comic book day of September 2021. Start off by taking a look at some stuff from the big two. DC Comics is bringing you the return of Bigby Wolf from Fables in Batman vs. Bigby Wolf. Wolf and Gotham. I wonder what's going on in this. Bill Willingham is returning to write his big bad wolf character and Batman at the same time. I'm psyched. Deathstroke went and got incorporated and now has Deathstroke Inc. issue number one. If you're a fan of that Slate Wilson, you're gonna wanna see what's going on in here. Nick Spencer is wrapping up his run on The Amazing Spider-Man. Coming your way is Amazing Spider-Man issue 74 or 875, depending on how you wanna count the numbers. But you're not gonna wanna miss this epic conclusion to Nick Spencer's run on The Amazing Spider-Man. Speaking of wrapping things up, Jonathan Hickman is beginning the end of his first phase of the X-Men in the Inferno. Inferno issue one is here. If you're an X-Fan, an X-Head, somebody who's just been casually reading the X-Men, you're not gonna wanna miss this because it seems to be tying up a lot of stuff that he set up back in Hot Fox. Inferno is here. Those fine folks over at Aftershock have another oversized one-shot coming your way. This week, it's 10 years to death. Serial killer, prison guard, all sorts of things that going on. If you like these Aftershock things, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Titan Comics and their hard case crime imprint are bringing us a new series called Gun Honey. This Adam Hughes cover, people are gonna be all about this. I don't know, looks to be sort of action-packed spy stuff. Remember that movie a couple years back called Turbo Kid? Michael Ironside was the bad guy in it. Well, there's a new Turbo Kid series coming your way from Behemoth Comics. You're not gonna wanna miss out on the Turbo Kid Apple's Lost Adventures. I think it's a two-parter. This is issue one. Just in time for that series four trailer to drop, there is a new Stranger Things comic book. Stranger Things, the Tomb of Yabwen, or however you pronounce Y-B-W-E-N. There's a new Stranger Things here, so if you need to see what's going on with those kids, check this one out. Adventure Man is back. Yes, that's right. Matt Fraction and those pesky Dodsons have returned with a new issue of Adventure Man. It's been a minute, so you might want to reread issues one through four, but issue five's out today. And speaking of things returning, Crossover is back. Donny Cates' Crossover is returning with an issue six. We are done looking at that whole Chip Zdarsky storyline and we're back to the main meat and potatoes storyline. So, Crossover, issue six. If you're a fan of Andrew McLean's Headlopper, then you'll be psyched to know this week sees the release of volume four of Headlopper. So grab yourself a copy of Headlopper Volume 4 for $16.99 and continue these adventures. If you're in the mood for some sad clown stories, then you're in luck this week because Ha Ha is here with Sad Clown Stories, the collection of the series Sad Clown by the guys that do uh, Ice Cream Man and some of their friends doing the art on some of these issues. You can get a bunch of very different, very clown-based stories. Also coming at you for $16.99 from Image. And Keanu Reeves and Matt Kent's Berserker Volume 1 is here, collecting issues 1 through 4 of the series. Issue 5 is also out today, so if you want to get that issue 5 and this to catch up and see what's going on, you're not going to want to miss what these guys are cooking with this eternal warrior who has a very big anger problem. So get yourself a copy of Berserker Volume 1 from Boom Studios, also for $16.99. Editor's note aside, problem ever, every week we always have an issue. This week, one of our DC Comics boxes is missing here in Old City. So we don't have all the DC Comics we would normally have for you yesterday, Tuesday, today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, until this mystery box eventually arrives. If there is anything you are looking for and we do not have on the shelf at this time, please let us know. We can put in a request for you and when it shows up, we'll make sure you get a copy. Stuff like this is out of our hands. I have no idea why it keeps happening. But should be here this week. Should be here this week, says Casey. All the trades are $16.99 this week.